Hello, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're looking at menus in Frog. We're going to get straight into it. So if you log into the back end and once you're logged in, I want you to pick 00 Frog Learning Platform and then up to 00 Construction. And in here, we're going to pick 02 Menus. Now, dependent on what you've done in your platform you will see you might see different folders here we should all have from 00 to 06 and then I've got another couple down here ICT support menu and subject menus so we're gonna have a look at a menu file first of all uh, this is one that I've created for my ICT support area of frog I'm just gonna double click that to open it up and here you can see um, the menu name ICT support menu and then underneath is a list of items now this list of items is the menu items that you would see um, wherever you put your menu, wherever you drop the, the menu brick. The stuff and the bits and pieces on the left hand side of the dialogue we're going to talk about um, in the next tutorial when we actually make a menu. But all I want you to see here is that a menu is essentially just a list. It's just a list of, of items and in that list each item has a, has a place that it is linked to. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look at the dock menu. Now when I talk about the dock menu, I'm talking about this dock menu that pops up along the bottom of the default login screen. This um, dock menu here is a slightly customised one for Dorchester Middle School. Here you can see um, a detention icon because we fiddled around with it uh, quite a bit at the beginning. So it's a little bit different to the default one, not too different though. So if we go back into the back end and go up to 00 dock menus and here you will find um, the different menu files for the different docks and you can see that we have a governor's one, a parent one, a, parent, a premium parent one, a staff and a student one. Now what we've done here at DMS is we have copied the staff menu because we didn't want to start editing the the main file just in case we messed it up. So we made a copy of the, the staff menu and then we edited that one. And when I open up this one, it looks the same again. We've got a list, but this has been split into categories personal, classroom, and staff room. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up into the corner and then bring over my, my, uh, my front end. And we can see if we look under the personal. Um, items area, we've got home files, my markbook, my planner and my set work and here home, my files, my markbook, my planner and my set work and then in the next um, category down we've got school departments, my classes, school timetable, search resources, detention form results and that's where we're a little bit different from the default one because this is one we've put in ourselves and as you can see there's school departments, my classes school timetables, search results and then the detention form results and then obviously you I'm not going to go through the last lot as you, you can see that um, those last three are obviously the last last three bits and pieces this calendar admin is one that I've dropped in here that personally and um, I've done that through the items menu so I can drop bits and pieces in here manually if I want but this will only appear for me as a user and so that's it really. Um, menu files are just lists and menus point to lists and then show those lists. In the next tutorial we're going to look at making a menu file and how to use a menu block to make that uh, menu file appear in a page. Uh, thanks very much for watching.